of people who are having this strong, I would say, willingness to win and to make their parents satisfied. And of course, this is something that you have to be proud of. I'm now, I'm not the only one who is proud of you. Everyone here, actually, at school, outside, your relatives, and everyone is really proud of you. Of course, here we do have the different levels. When I was watching her, I liked her performance because she was speaking very well and her accent is actually amazing. She was uh, moving and she was... I think uh, her performance was really nice. She she had uh, such a natural and... Hi everyone, I'm Shoro and I study in the second grade at HMM School. And today, I'm going to talk about the main characteristics of Morocco. So. Morocco is one of the most beautiful countries in Africa and all the world. I went through my old books, and then I found a folder of paintings. I started checking my drawings, which brought up so many memories. Here was one from Earth Day with a painting of the forest, and another one from when the teacher asked us to draw. Today, I will give you the information of the love of the country. Uh, I do not separate between the liberation of women and the liberation of the country. So, what is the country? What is the love of the country? What must be presented in order? One, my name is Rihab Dabad, and I'm going today to talk to you about. Wait, I have a challenge for you. Uh, which is to know the topic presented by from one of the famous singers. Okay, listen. Patriotism <coughs> is like a mother's love. Um, it's like a mother's love for both our innate love that is then playing in us and grows every day. So. Everybody, can uh, anyone tell me what I'm talking about today? Yeah. <coughs> and today I'm gonna to uh, talk about a uh, lovely country. So, lovely country is something necessary for every citizen's heart. But wait a minute, what is lovely country? And to what extent does it continue in the heart of the citizens? And is it an eternal love? Let's get started to know. Today, I'm going to dive deeper into the subject of citizenship and patriotism. First of all, I'm going to define the citizenship and the patriotism. Then, I'm going to explain to you why a person would feel patriotic and the benefits of having a country full of a patriot. The homeland is a land on which we were born, and among we bounties we grab in its arms. But what is the importance of the homeland and its bounty to us? If you have citizenship of a country, you are legally accepted as belonging to it. So, where does citizenship include him? Well, he moved well, he did everything well, but I found that he just memorized it. He didn't, uh, he didn't do just like if uh, he's doing it. Morocco is a country where African, Arab, and European cultures are in twin, located as the most of the <laughs> origin and the country, country of my and she performed very well. She made eye contact, uh, the interrogative sounds, everything. Very good. Oh. All those tips to be to be success in my public speaking. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay. Such as eye contact. When the speaker starts speaking, he should. Make eye contact with all the audience today to talk with you about patriotism. So the love of the country is an innate love that is one with every being in existence. The homeland is the bottom and the safe haven in which the soul resides, man wherever he goes and travels. Because the person without the home Hi everyone, does anyone of you know what I will talk to you about today? Of course you know from the background that I will be speaking about citizenship. So firstly is an innate feeling. Patriotism is the hidden feeling that drives us to attach to it and the sense of belonging.